afternoon everybody this is NCP um, I've got an old battery here that I used to use for my radio system as a backup <clears throat> it was a gel a 50 amp hour gel and uh, it's gone bad over the years I'm just going to use it to trade in for another uh, absorbed gas mat battery instead of a gel battery so last time I put it on the charger <clears throat> it said it was sulfated or bad I think it was sulfated but I got this new charger here to specifically for absorbed gas mat batteries. But it also has features on here for uh, gel and deep cycle and all that good stuff for marine and etc. And supposedly it has a desulfator in it. And I've heard, don't know, I heard that you can actually uh, bring a gel battery or, or a absorbed gas mat battery or a deep cycle battery back with one of these chargers. I don't know. I don't believe it. We'll see. Um... I checked this battery right now, and um, I think it's got like 5 volts or something. Yeah, 4.8. So we are way, way below. I think this battery's junk. But, I don't know. Let, let's see. Let me go ahead and get it charging overnight. I'll take it outside. I got in here. But let me, um, let me get this charger out and hook it up in here for just a few minutes to show you how everything looks. And I'll be right back. One quick thing, before I go any further, let's talk about this charger. Um, it's got a lot of features on it. You set it for what you're going to use, uh, different uh, power levels, and it should auto-adjust to what's best for that particular type of battery. It's got the reverse protection, all that good stuff. I plan to put this in my truck when I do my power supply, so I can just you have shore power on my truck when I get there. But And I'll, I'll have to top off the absorbed gas mat in there. But if you look at it, it's got everything... Uh, the cables imported inside there imported whatever um, it's got your your clamps I believe these are rated at 15 amps or 80 amps or something but we're only going to do 15 because that's what the charger is so we'll plug this in I'll get it hooked up and we'll set it up and see where we got to go with it and then like I said then I'll put it outside after a while but on here, if you zoom in, we have the uh, the the power modes. You know, uh, the sport one. I believe that's the starter for like starter batteries, and this is for um, deep cycle batteries. And you can choose the modes over here for uh, well, standard uh, wet cell, like uh, like one of my shop batteries. Uh, you got the absorbed gas mat and the gel, so it's specifically for each type and it's got the reverse charging uh, protection and All that good stuff, but it also I think it does the power level in the charge too, but that's based on um On a charge level which I'm not sure how that works Well, I mean I know how it works, but I'm not sure if it's accurate. <laughs> All right, so let me get this hooked up. I'll be right back all right, so when you first plug it in, this is what you get. Let's go ahead and put it on the battery. Let me just attach it here. Maybe? I don't know. That's good. All right. So it's saying there's 3.5 amps in there. And I guess that's dead. So let's set it for a battery type, gel. Sorry. There you go. Gel. And then we're going to set it for a 15 amp charge. And there it's going. It's on. Okay, the display went off. It goes in sleep mode. I had to read that. Yellow is working. Orange is, I guess, working too. And flashing means it's in bort mode. Uh, wake this up I should be able to hit any button and so the one now represents that it's 1% charged so let's see it should be hitting 15 amps but who knows uh, well we could check but let's just uh, let me just check here with my voltmeter the voltmeter right now is charging the gel cell at 16.4 Four nine sixteen point five. Let's say sixteen point five volts is going into it right now. So it is putting voltage in. I've been charging this just a regular charger. 
um, that's not good for gel, they need to be charged higher. Um, so there it is. Um, I don't have a timer on this, so I don't know. Um, let's see, it's also quiet. The other one, like I said, was an old battery charger. It's probably 20, 25 years old that I've always used, but this one's silent, so I don't feel any heat coming off it or any fans or anything, so I'm thinking I can just put it in the truck and let it uh, in the, uh, the back of the truck where I built the bin and put it there on top of the other battery, but we'll see. All right, um, I'll be back. Um, maybe I'll leave it in here. I don't know, I'll put it outside, and I'll be back uh, tomorrow or tonight when it's done charging. Have a good one. Please rate, subscribe. Um, you know, have a great day. And like I said, this is the um, SSC 1500A charger. Um, it says it has 6 and 12 volt auto detection. Online it said it was 12 volt only, so I don't know. But it's got rapid charger, and it'll, after it's done charging, you can just leave it plugged in, and it'll automatically go into maintenance mode. And I'll put a link below to this charger. Uh, if it works, you know, it's going to be outstanding because I'll have another battery backup for my radio systems here. All right. This is Dr. Pepper. Please rate, subscribe. Have a great day, everybody. Let's get Pepper out.